You see that over there? That's another Team Star base. However, I completely forgot that there's one of these things over here so I can upgrade Gridon. And uh, I completely missed in the last part. So I'm going to quickly go all the way over here, see what this is about. And then we're going to go and explore this Team Star base. And then we'll go from there and see what's up next in our agenda. So uh, I'll meet you when I'm like right around this area. All right, so I'm over here and I got to here. It looks like there's Pokemon there. It was interesting is that uh, the first time Pokemon I faced, there was actually a similar tower over here when I caught Gimme Ghoul. So um, I actually wonder if the two are connected somehow. Maybe they're not. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. I'm probably overthinking things. But I think I just want to explore this first and see what this is about. And then we'll go face that second time Pokemon. Because I must have completely missed this. Yeah. Ooh, Sandstorm. Okay, so I thought I would find a Gimme Ghoul thing on this floor. I think this might be the last one. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm just climbing up the towers like you do in Breath of the Wild. It's like a similar feel to that. I guess we face this thing again? Another one of these things? I already caught one, so like, it could just die. Or not. Wow, congrats. You did two damage on bubbles. I applaud you. I applaud you. But you can die. <laughs> I don't even know what the point of that is. Oh, you get 50 of those coins. Okay. Yeah, that that's that that's kind of nice. Uh, I guess we face this time Pokemon. I wonder what this guy is. It looks like a giant worm. Oh, do I have to just chase it down? What? Or maybe, maybe I just have to keep chasing it. I don't know. Or, okay, I guess. Are you going on? Okay, no, I just had to keep chasing it down until this happens. Okay. I'm just standing there like... <laughs> what was that face? Or Throom! So, it's a steel type. That's good to know. It's probably not going to do much. And I probably should have switched out to uh, Flim Flam, the, um, my fire type bird. And now that I know that, because when I first faced off the first time Pokemon, I was able to rationalize the first time and then the second time I encountered it. So I'm going to just going to do that right away. I'm just going to use Flame Charge and just destroy it. So we'll see how much damage that does. And... Oh, that did a lot! Holy crap! Okay, nice. And we got another one. You're almost dead. Not quite, though. Unfortunate. Oh. It was because of the story that I couldn't destroy you. Got it. Do I get to chase you in caves? That sounds sick. I actually want to kind of chase it down now. <laughs> Um, let's go see what that is about then. Uh, it's just a huge tunnel it made. Um, and there it is again. So I'm guessing what I have to do is I just have to keep, like, encountering it. Oh, I should try probably switch that out and then uh, heal you up. So now I'm all good on that front. And then let's face you again. Alright. Oh no, I just have to keep chasing, I guess, the stuff because that time I didn't have to battle it. Maybe. The Titan Pokemon Earthworm began eating something. Okay, I for some reason I thought I would have had to battle it like three different times for some reason just now, but I guess not, because I thought I was just going to keep running away or something. I don't know. Uh Pan, you managed to pin it down the Titan? That's the lurking steel tank. It's a uh, well. It sure is long. I think our little friend might be even feistier now after eating those herbs. You don't say. We're going to need to do this together, Payton. Did Arvin help me in the first time battle? I don't recall that. But anyway, um, 
I think, yeah, I can still terrestrialize, so I was right on that. And then let's just use Flame Charge again. Doesn't matter how big an opponent is, Victory's going to taste so good seasoned by my Toad School. Not if I have anything to say about it. Because I could just destroy you by being terrestrialized with my, uh, Fletchinder. Is the second evolution of Fletchling called Fletchinder? I'm pretty sure it is. I could be wrong in that. Alright, let's do another Flame Charge, see how that goes. It does like a third of its health every single time I keep landing it, so... Oh yeah, and then it's confused too by the, um... What's it called? Uh, Toad Scroll or something? But hey, at least I'm doing damage to it, I guess. And not dying. <laughs> so that's a good sign that I pretty much have this in the bag. Anyway, this should be it, maybe? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. And you are down. Oh, I didn't even see that. I thought his health bar was completely gone, but then I just saw I had a sliver. And I mean a sliver of health left. You know what? I'm just going to end you quick with a quick attack. Just just get out of the way. Just get out of the way. Yeah. Why exactly one health? That that kind of like, like really kind of annoys me. <laughs> like you could have just gone down one turn ago. No. No, you had to make me, you had to make me go through that whole ordeal. But we defeated it. Woo! And then now we get to upgrade. And now we get to upgrade, upgrade uh, on. So that's cool. Oh, uh, we did pin. Way to go, little buddy. Did you get a good luck at, at its face though? I didn't expect the Titan to be such a little cute. We killed it! <laughs> Why are you like... Okay. Uh, I bet if we go in here, we'll find more of that Herba Mystica it ate before. Let's go find it before that thing can regroup. Oh, it's still alive. Got it. I thought we just, like, killed in cold blood and... You're like, uh... Oh, that, that, that guy was cute. And then it's like, yeah. Uh, if we're lucky, there'll be another Herb here. I knew it! You knew what? Uh, looks like it's another herb, if I'm not mistaken. It really is here. This is one of the herbs. Make no mistake. You and Arvin found the salty herb of Mystica. Woohoo, we did it. Thanks, Payton. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? Well, apparently Salty Herba Mystica helps with aching hands and feet. Good for uh, neur neuropathy and numbness. When you've got muscle weakness, it supposedly builds up strength again. I hate it when my foot falls asleep or my hands. It, it drives me nuts. If, we, if I could just slip this into a tasty sandwich and get him to eat some, then what? Well, what are we waiting for, Payne? It's time to dig in. Let me whip something up for us. Okay. Zaz me. Yurt, hiya, watcha watch, who watcha, and Bob's your uncle. Here you go, my special whimsical herb filled super sandwich. Are you telling me your uncle's Bob? I don't know who Bob is, but, and it comes with a side of Titan badge, as a took in my gratitude, of course. And we got that. Awesome. Oh. Felt really quick in getting that patch, not gonna lie. So now, question is, I guess, what does Gridon learn this time? Oh, come on, you again? Sniff, sniff. Do you wanna give your sandwich? Ah, uh, this is mine. You can't have it. Sorry, Gion. Maybe you want to give it your gra- No, this is mine. Oh, okay, it's just going to keep repeating. <laughs> I kind of figured since it's done that to me last time too with the other day Pokemon, so... Uh, hmm. Is it trying to say thanks or something? Well, good thing I made extra. You're helping me out with a, a whole bunch of the hard stuff, so it's only fair that you get more. 
I definitely absolutely did not make extra so that Groudon could have a sandwich, okay? Chomp, chomp, snarf, chomp. Ay, yes! Groudon will now be able to jump higher. Ooh, cool, okay. Did it go stronger again? Grow stronger again? Man, these Herba Mystica really do pack a punch, don't they? That'll be nice. I mean, they'd better, or else I'm really up the creek. I thought we'd be able to climb or something, but I'll be able to jump higher. I'll take that. Idea? Don't you dare touch that. That isn't for you. Idea. Hmm. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't have shouted like that. I guess I should at least tell you the full story. Okay, we're getting to exposition here. All right, fill me in. Come on out, bud. Oh, I thought I was expecting the the, the, the other motorcycle looking legendary Pokemon. This is Mabo Stiff, my partner. Agia. Uh, yeah. Dot 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 dot. Here you go, bud. Eat up. This sandwich should help you feel better. Slowly now. Take your time. Small bites are fine. Just chew nice and slow. Dot 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 dot. My body here, my buddy here was hurt pretty bad a while ago. Real bad, in fact. He never really recovered. Potions and things don't work. Have you tried a Pokemon Center? <laughs> they said this wasn't any regular old in injury or illness. Uh, Mabo Stiff here is the only thing in the world I care about. The only thing. So I promised that I'd make him better, whatever it takes. I searched online, I read books, I looked all over and tried every cure and remedy I could find, but nothing really worked. I'd almost given up hope. That's when I found out about the Herba Mystica. You've done your research. Yeah, see, I found this book in my mom's lab. Herba Mystica. Air Area Zero is home to wondrous herbs that instantly impart vigor when eaten. We dubbed them Herba Mystica and attempted to grow some in areas around Peldea. However, before we could harvest, the herbs were eaten by Pokemon, which in turn grew large and strong. We called these Tame Pokemon. But there's still Herba Mystica in those parts. Okay. Uh. So wait. Because, like, if they said that the Herba Mystica is gone when they planted it all around the region, why is there still Herba Mystica in those parts of the region, if they just said it was eaten by Pokemon. I, you know what? I'm not questioning it. It's this book full of crazy stories and legends and things. Stuff nobody usually believe. But I believe it. I think what it says is true. According to this book, eating all five Herba Mystica can cure anything that ails you. Case in point, Mabo Stiff's paws were cold as ice before he ate that last herb. But they've warmed up a little now. I'm sure they have. Oh, you're done eating, bud? You look so sad. Hey, 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 Mabo Stiff, can, can you see? Are your eyes open? Yes, I did it. it. It's been so long since he was able to open his eyes. I was so worried. Didn't it? Wasn't it supposed to be hands and feet and not eyes? That was... What healed? Uh, oh man, I I'm so I'm so glad. I I'm just gonna keep reading this. <laughs> Wine, sniffle, heh, <laughs> Oh, look at him. Those fiery orange little eyes. Hard to tell if they're open or not, but I know the difference. The power of these herbs is amazing. I knew the book wasn't lying. I'm going to bring Mabo Stiff back to full health. I swear it. Oh, uh, yeah, so that's my story. Three herbs to go. Let's find them together. Agia, Agia. I wonder how high I can jump. If it's, like, really high, that'd be amazing. Hello, Pain, this is Sada. I detect that Gridon has regained more of its original power. While you're riding upon it, it seems you it can now jump higher if you press and hold the B button. I think I know how to jump, so I'm just going to keep going. 
Uh, I'm relying on you to continue taking good care of Groudon. And that seems to be it. All right. Oh, that is so much higher. So it used to be like this, but now it's like this. That is so much different. That was worth the upgrade. What's this? Oh, it's the worm guy. There we go. Now I should be able to catch it. I do have 33 great balls. That's okay. I can wait. Hey, and we caught it. The worm's name shall be Anna. The reason why I did not just fly back to the Poke Center to challenge Team Star is because there's this thingy here. I kind of want to explore and see what that is. Because it might be the Suicune thing. The uh, raid that's going on currently. Um, and I might get myself a legendary. Or I might just die right away. But either way, I'm going to see what it's about. So we're going to go see what that is exactly about. Well, I guess we could just do it. And it's dead. I completely forgot to switch my uh, leading Pokemon because fire does not do well against ice or water. But eh, what are you going to do? Uh, I just picked a random name. It was supposed to be Zori, but I guess we're calling it Zorb because I forgot the I. But um, we'll send it to a box. And now we can check out Team Star. But first I should probably heal up my team. I, I have a question. Can I auto battle with a high level Pokemon? No. Okay then. So I guess we're setting out uh, three Pokemon that do listen to me. These three are the lowest in levels. So if I could level them up some, that should be good. I can jump so much higher. I am so happy out of that ability um in any case uh i think i'm going battle team star and the the principal is back looking like a little kid ah it's you pin uh director clavo like i said before the name's clive clive Please don't forget. Anyway, Pan, I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've been accepted into Operation Starfall. Uh, what's your end game? I need answers. That's all. That doesn't answer the question, though. How do I resolve this situation with Team Star? And what's causing its members' odd behavior? Uh, odd behavior? Team Star is the subject of more than a few nasty rumors swirling around the academy, you know. Some say their bullying has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. Others say they're, they're holed up in their bases, plotting and cause trouble for the academy. But these are rumors. The matter I'm directly confronted with is something else. I'm talking about Team Star's persistent uh, truancy. They've all been skipping class for a while now. Five of them in particular, the so-called bosses of Team Star, haven't so much as set foot inside a classroom for over a year. And it seems the team's rank and file have recently started stirring up mischief as well. That's why I took it upon myself to issue a direct order and Team Star to disband. I informed them they should, that should they refuse, I would have no choice but to expel all students affiliated with their team. But I'm afraid there's been no response, and the deadline is set for them to make their choice between dissolution or expulsion is nigh upon us. So you see, when I overheard you talking on the phone to Cassiopeia, it couldn't have come at a more crucial time. Ruto to to to, it's Cassiopeia. Can you hear me? Urk! Whisper, whisper. Another time then. Whisper, whisper. Be careful. Okay. Uh, what do you have to say? I see you're coming up to one of Team Star's bases. Was there someone with you just now? Oh no, it was it was nobody. It was just me. Just me. Well. Be more that Team Star will have its guard up after losing one boss to you already. I can finally lie in this game. Thank you. I'm fine with that. This base won't go down as easy, easily as the last one. Uh, proceed with extreme caution. I'll be in touch. Yeah, because it's like, I, I literally could not lie. I could not say no. And I'm glad I finally was able to get away with it. So anyway, we are going to have to see these guys over here. Do me a favor and go home already, will ya? No, I want to see the boss of the Navi Squad. Take me to Don Atri Atricus. 
Like you said, kid, the boss told me not to let any outsiders pass these gates. That includes you. I don't care. I'm not leaving until you let me talk to Don Atticus. Give me a break, you little doofus. The people over there seem to be arguing about something. What do you want to do? We'll just go say hi. Huh? Oh, great. Here comes another rando to ruin the day. I didn't think grunt work for Team Star newbies would be this much of a chore. Nah, I just like running into problems, I guess. Uh, hold on, Mr. Grunt. I think this boy might be Payton. Wait, Payton? That kid who picked a, a fight with Team Star? Uh, prepare to be raided. Knew it. Oh, ho. Oh, ho, boy, this ain't good. Everyone else in the base is still asleep since we were up all night playing video games. I've had that. <laughs> I, ha I, I, I feel that. Leave him to me, Mr. Grunt. I'll buy some time uh, for you to go wake up the others. Yeah, what's in it for you? Don Atticus will be in danger if no one's here to defend the base. I owe that man my life. He's my dear compadre. And when crisis calls, one has, to, one has no choice but to rally to those dear to him, no matter the cost. Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, kid, but thanks for the great big assist. Well, time to destroy a kid's Pokemon. Uh, alright, you villain. If you're after Don Atticus, be prepared to face my wrath. Bring on. Yeah! So, let me face you, please. Alright. Uh, Gulpin. I remember fondly of, uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl of throwing the Pokeball on Gulpin, swallowing me or whoever I was with the, like, the Pokeball item. That's how I first got introduced to Gulpin as a kid. I think other than that, it was, like, Soul Silver. Uh, later in the game. That does nothing. I thought U-Turn is switches to another Pokemon. Does he not have any other Pokemon with him? I swear I thought I saw he had three. Mega Kick? Ooh, that's good. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of Focus Energy then. I'm fine with that. Oh, I defeat him. I was like, oh, it's not switching to any other Pokemon, He's you, and he has U-Turn. I honestly thought he had three, not two, but eh, I'll take two. If it's only two, I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> it's quicker that way, too. Uh, Don Atticus, I'm sorry I failed you. You sure did, kid. Payton, are you alright? I was standing watch uh, when I heard a ruckus all of a sudden. I was worried that... I got worried that maybe something had happened to you over here. Uh, ah, no fair. You had backup this whole time? Is this boy one of the Academy students? He doesn't look like he's from Team Star. You're right. I'm not a member of Team Star, but Don Atticus is my compadre. I have to see him no matter what. Well, clearly you have your reasons for being here. Payton, I'd like you to ask this boy some questions. You go ahead and... Oh, you're asking the questions. Okay. Uh, might I borrow you for a chat? Uh, my, uh, my man. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't bite. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's questionable. Uh, -to, 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 to Nice work dealing with the guard. That wasn't really a guard. That was like the guard's friend, I guess, or who, however they're affiliated. Uh, with that, within that base lies Team Star's Poison Crew, the Navi Squad. Their boss, Atticus, designs the outfits uh, for the team. You could say he has clever hands. The guy's also a bit of a eccentric. You can never tell what he's going to do next. So, since it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to our decorate declaration of war just take out as many of the squad's pokemon as you can until atticus shows his face ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off the face of the operation time to wipe the navi squad off the map will certainly do and i guess we're going to do that right about now <laughs>